Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to share with you a brand new collection from Spellbinders called Parcel and Post. This collection centers around this adorable mailbox that can be used for almost any occasion, from Christmas cards, birthday cards, Valentine's Day, anniversary, thank you, and even just to say hello. So here's a look at the basic die set. This one is called Parcel and Post Mailbox. It contains the mailbox, so you can see the large die here for the mailbox. There's also this rectangle die. These are just layering pieces that go on the mailbox. And then you have your envelope. And then there are all of these floral dies that you can have popping out of your mailbox. Now there are some add-on die sets, which I'm gonna show you now. And this first one is called Parcel and Post Heart Decorations. And this one has some hearts. They would You can consider them like heart flowers because they do have the stands that you can pop them up on. Then there's also the word love. So you can actually pop all of these letters in the word love onto the little stand or the bases. There is another add-on set called Parcel and Post Christmas Decorations. So this one's all about Christmas. There's a candy cane, there are some leaves, there's a bow, there are some holly and some berries. And this one is real fun for all of your Christmas card making. So the three sets I just showed you can be purchased individually or as a bundle. And I will have product links for all of those down in the description box below. There are some more add-on sets for this mailbox. You have these clear stamps. These are the parcel and post sentiments and these sentiments fit perfectly in the front center of the mailbox there are birthday sentiments there are christmas sentiments there are thank you sentiments and there are sentiments just for sending a note of love and if you happen to have a glimmer machine, there are some hot foil plates available. There's actually two sets of hot foil plates. The one I'm showing here are the All Occasion Mailbox Greetings. And I'll show you in just a moment what these actually say. I know it's hard to see just by looking here on the screen. But these sentiments will go right inside the front of the mailbox. So some of the sentiments on the All Occasion Mailbox Greetings are a little note big thanks please deliver to Santa confetti and closed it's your birthday and kindly deliver to my favorite human and then there's another set of hot foil plates and this set is called Christmas mailbox greetings and some of the sentiments on this set of plates are sending Mary wishes and hugs letters for Santa North Pole a note to say Merry Christmas and sending a little holiday sparkle. So I actually printed up um, what these look like so you can actually see what they look like. So this particular one is the all occasion mailbox greetings and then we have this set which is the Christmas mailbox greetings. So once again all of these products I will have linked down in the description box below. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products as always I appreciate when you use my affiliate links because I do get a small percentage of each sale at no extra cost to you. So for my first card I'm bringing in the scrapbook.com peppermint pattern paper pad which you're looking at here as well as the peppermint smooth cardstock which is the matching solid cardstock that corresponds to the pattern paper so I picked out one of the patterns I wanted to have a Christmas tree pattern as the background for my mailbox and now I'm just going to take out some of the solid cardstock because I'm going to do a lot of my die cutting with the solid cardstock so I'm taking out some of the greens and some of the reds I'm actually going to come back to this paper pad a little bit later and take out some more papers to do some die cutting but first of all I'm going to set the Christmas tree paper aside because that's going to be my card background but I'm going to go ahead and die cut the mailbox so I have the two different color reds so I'm going to do some of the layering pieces in the brighter red and then the mailbox in the deeper red 
and I'm just kind of positioning everything here. And after I positioned the layering pieces on the mailbox, I thought it would be really cute to bring in a pattern for the mailbox. So instead of going with the solid red on the side and on the top where the door is for the mailbox, I'm going to go in with one of these patterns from the pattern paper pad. I think that would offset it and just add some more papers. A patterns I think would be really cute. And then for the front center, I'm actually going to take the rectangle die and I'm going to go ahead and position it over top of one of these patterns on this paper and I'm going to add some tape here so that it does not move when I run this through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to die cut that for the center and then I'm going to go ahead and die cut for the top of the uh, door for the mailbox. I'm going to die cut that piece out of the pattern as well. So that's what I end up deciding to do. Instead of going with all solid cardstock, I decide to do those layering pieces in the pattern and I think that's going to look super cute. Next I'm going to bring in some of the green cardstock and I'm going to die cut some of the leaves in the green and I'm also going to still use the red cardstock for the candy cane and some of the berries. So I'm just positioning my dies on the cardstock. I'll run this through my die cutting machine. For the candy cane I did die cut the solid piece behind in white. And now once all my pieces are die cut I'm just bringing in some inks to ink up the edges of some of these leaves. I think the ink on the edges it just adds so much more interest to these die cut pieces. So for this particular green I'm using my scrapbook.com deep sea ink and I'm just using a finger dauber to put that ink there on the cardstock. I'm also going to come in with the succulent ink for the lighter green leaves. And for the red pattern paper, I am inking up the edges with the scrapbook.com Havana red ink. And I'm going to ink up all of those layering pieces for the front of the mailbox. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and glue down the top layer of my candy cane onto the solid white layer. And you can make these candy canes any color you want. It's all about whatever color cardstock you're using. I'm using the traditional red, but if you wanted to make yours green or blue or yellow, whatever you wanted to make. There's also a peppermint, so I have the red for the top layering piece and white underneath. And then I also have some of these leaves and I have some of the berries that I die cut in red. The leaves I die cut in gold mirror card stock and I'm just adding the berries to the top of the gold die cut piece. So here's a look at what the leaves look like once I add the berries to them. The one there on the left is actually from the basic die set, the Parcel and Post mailbox, and then the two there on the right, as well as all of the other die cuts that I've been using, are from the Christmas decorations set, including this envelope, which is also from the basic set, Parcel and Post mailbox. So I went ahead and die cut that mailbox out of just some of the pink cardstock from the solid paper pad from the peppermint a pad from scrapbook.com and I just added some of the confetti pink ink to the edges. Next I'm ready to add the sentiment so I'm going to do some heat embossing and I'm using my pink and main anti-static brush to add some powder to the cardstock. I don't want my embossing powder to stick where there is no ink so that's why I'm using the powder. I'm going to go ahead and place my sentiment. The sentiment is from the Parcel and Post sentiments from the clear stamps. And the sentiment says, Letters for Santa, North Pole. I go ahead and ink that up with some Versamark ink and stamp it down. I'm going to reapply, stamp it down one more time, and then I'm going to remove this from my Misty, and I'm going to add some gold embossing powder. This is the Brutus Monroe gilded embossing powder and go ahead and sprinkle that on and then I'm going to heat set this and then I remembered that I did not ink up the edges of my mailbox so I'm actually going to come back in with my Havana red ink and ink up that mailbox all along the edges as well as there on the top where the door is for the mailbox I'm going to fold that down and add some ink to that scored line and then I'm going to go ahead and glue down the sentiment right to the front center of my mailbox and I will also glue down all of those layering pieces. 
So I wanted my card to look like a little scene where the mailbox is sitting in the snow and there's all these Christmas trees behind it. So I have a piece of white glitter cardstock from my stash. I don't recall where I got this uh, cardstock from. I just cut it into a shape of a hill and the width of that is actually the same width as the pattern paper. So the pattern paper is measured at four by five and a quarter. So the width of the snow hill is also going to be four inches wide. And then I just curved out the top to look like a snow hill. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down my mailbox. I'm putting it a little bit further down on that paper. I don't want it centered right on the cardstock because I need to leave some room up at the top for all of these decorations to pop out of the mailbox door. So I'm going to go ahead and insert all of those decorations. I have the leaves and I also have the candy cane and I'm going to pop my peppermint in there and just position everything where I want it and then once I have everything positioned I'll then be able to go ahead and glue it down. I always like to position everything first so I know where I'm putting everything and then I can go ahead and start gluing down and when I glue everything I start from the very bottom and then I move up with each layer to glue the next layer on top of that so on and so forth. So here I'm just gluing down some of the leaves and some of the leaves with the berries. And that little door, that flap on the mailbox, it actually opens. If you wanted to glue it flat down on the mailbox, you could, um, but it does open just so you know. So if you wanted to stick anything inside there, you totally can do that. Now, just so you know, the opening of that is only about one and a quarter inches wide maybe a little bit less than that. So if you wanted to stick anything inside there, it would have to be less than one and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm finishing up adding all of these pieces and then I'm gonna take this layer and I'm going to add it to a piece of red cardstock for a mat. The red cardstock is measured at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then once I add it to the red card stock, I'm going to add it to an A2 size white card base. So that just gives you a kind of an idea how big that mailbox is because you can see how it fits on the A2 size card base. And while I'm gluing that down, I'll go ahead and tell you how tall that mailbox is. It's about three and three quarter inches high by about three inches wide. So it fits perfectly on the A2 size card front. I do decide to come back in and add a gold stand for that peppermint. I thought that peppermint just sitting there kind of looked a little funny. So I'm just adding a little bit of a gold stand there to make it look like it's standing or it's on a stick. And then I'm going to add the handle for that mailbox. I forgot to add that. <laughs> so I die cut that out of some gold mirror cardstock and I'm just going to add those pieces onto the front of the mailbox. And last but certainly not least, I decide to bring in some more pink and die cut this pink bow. I wanted to bring in some more pink because I have a pink envelope and I just add the bow to the corner of the mailbox. And that completes my card. So now I'm definitely finished. So, so there is my Christmas mailbox card and now I'm going to make a card with you demonstrating the parcel and post heart decorations add-on set. So with this one I'm using the Sherbet Scrapbook.com pattern paper and solid card stock. I wanted to bring in some of the pink hearts so I'm just taking some of the colors and patterns out of the paper pad. I'm going to go ahead and die cut the mailbox out of the solid pink and I'm going to go ahead and die cut the layering pieces out of the pink hearts. And I'm going to add some of this candy shop ink from scrapbook.com to the edges of the mailbox as well as to the edges of the pattern paper. I'm going to bring in a q-tip and just dab some ink on there to get this line in the mailbox. These lines, I just thought by adding ink to them would add some more depth to this mailbox. So here I'll finish up the inking on the pattern paper. And then I'm gonna bring in my hot foil machine because I wanna use one of the glimmer plates for the sentiment. So I went ahead and plugged my glimmer machine in and I'm gonna set the plate on the top there. 
That's the one that I want to use and I'm placing it face up. And I'm going to go ahead and press the timer button. And when that timer button turns to a solid green color, that means that my plate is heated up and I can go ahead and finish this process. And while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and get my foil ready. I went ahead and cut down this piece of pink foil and I cut it down so that it's slightly larger than my hot foil plate. And I'm watching this timer button just to wait till it turns to a solid green. And once it turns to solid green, I'll be able to add my foil face down on top of that glimmer plate and then add my cardstock. And the cardstock that I'm using is a smooth white cardstock. And then I'm going to add the plates on top of that and pull this from the system. So I'm going to undock it. And I went ahead and ran it through my die cutting machine off camera. I did use the Spellbinders Platinum machine. And there is what the end result looks like. There is a little bit of overfoiling, but that's okay because I'm going to fix that in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, I'm going to take that rectangle die and I'm going to die cut the sentiment out and now I'm ready to fix some of that overfoiling. so I'm going to come in with my mono sand eraser and just use my eraser over top of where the overfoiling occurred and that foiling will come right off. I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges with the same pink ink that I used for the mailbox and then I'll go ahead and glue that piece to the front center of the mailbox. I'm also going to fussy cut some of the flowers out of this pattern paper from the Sherbet pattern paper pad. I'm just going to take a few of those flowers and just fussy cut them with my scissors. And I'm going to use another one of these pattern papers for the background of the card. So this piece I'm going to cut down to 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth and I'm going to add that to a piece of pink cardstock that I cut to 4 by 5 and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and add my mailbox and then I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of these die cut pieces. So you can see how I die cut the little sticks or the stands for these letters and I'm just gluing them on to the letters. I also die cut some of the flowers. The flowers are from the original set the main set that includes the mailbox and then I also die cut some of the hearts and the hearts are from the um, parcel and post heart decorations set and I added some stands to the bottom of the flowers and to the bottom of the hearts and I'm adding the flowers there in the background with some of the leaves I'm also going to add one of the flowers that I fussy cut and then I'm going to add the word love and that's going to go in front of all of those flowers. So I'm going to glue each one of those pieces down. And I'm going to add a couple of the fussy cut flowers to the bottom of the mailbox. And I'm also going to add an envelope. So I die cut the envelope out of light pink cardstock. I'm adding a heart to the flap. I'm going to add a couple of the leaves in there as well. And just glue all of that down to the bottom right hand corner of the mailbox. And once again, I forgot to add the handle to the door, so I end up doing that off camera, and you'll see that handle in my final picture coming up here momentarily. And that is going to complete my card using the Parcel and Post Heart Decorations add-on set. Once again, all product links will be down in the description box below, so if you're interested in any of these products, check down there for the affiliate links. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll receive notifications every time I release a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.